Aww, animals. Here is another reason why you should bin your trash. Canadian fisherman Adam Turnbull caught this fish last week and was shocked to see it. It was nearly split in two by a Powerade wrapper. Turnbull reckons that trash thrown near the river probably got into the water and somehow wound up around the fish. Despite its injury, Turnbull told Canada news site Global News it still fought when he caught it. Shocked by the northern pike's injury, Turnbull posted images of it to Facebook last week in a post that has gone viral. Turnbull says he cut the wrapper and put the fish back in the water. He says it swam away like a dart. Moral of the story? Put your trash in the trash can. We're not finished yet. Underwater drone revolutionizes fishing. Technology company Power Vision has unveiled a drone that can help users see what's going on underwater and may increase efficiency in fishing. The Power Ray drone has an onboard camera and an optional add on fish finder sonar. The devices can be used together or separately. The drone can dive to a depth of 98 feet, while the sonar can track fish about 131 feet below the drone. A blue tinted light is designed to lure fish, while a drop function allows the user to deliver the bait whenever he or she wants. Users can watch the footage captured by the drone via their cell phones, which allows them to better determine when to reel in the fish. Some argue that it's not fishing if you can actually see underwater, but pre-orders for the drone will begin in February, and sales of the device will probably better reflect how many people find the technology appealing. Pretty soon, some sharks will have a Napoleon complex. Damn it, climate change! Climate change may actually be altering the size of the planet's fish. A recent study published in the journal Global Change Biology suggests that rising temperatures and oceans might be shrinking fish. Warmer waters mean less oxygen, something fish need to grow into adulthood. Fish use their gills to breathe underwater. From an evolutionary perspective, less oxygen would see gills adapting to warmer waters by becoming smaller. Researchers found that warming oceans may cause fish such as tuna and trout to shrink by around 30 and 8% respectively. They estimate that worldwide this trend could reduce the amount of fish that can be caught for food by 30%. But hey, at least on the positive side, you might soon be able to put a pet shark in a fish bowl. Study says ocean farming could provide all the seafood we need. New research suggests that ocean farming could be enough to fill much of the global demand for seafood. Researchers suggest a farm area the size of Lake Michigan could satisfy the world's current demand for seafood. Their study says that an ocean area of 11.4 million square kilometers could satisfy fishing demands, while 1.4 square million kilometers would be needed for bivalve seafood, such as oysters. However, experts commenting on the study say that while space isn't a limitation for the expansion of ocean farming, costs for operation, production, and transportation could be. Climate change and how humans interact with large-scale ocean farms are another factor that could impact the feasibility of relying on ocean farming. Sea lice wreak havoc on worldwide salmon supply. There's something fishy going on with the world's salmon supply, and it's not something the fish are doing. According to the Associated Press, parasitic sea lice have infected salmon farms in Chile, the United States, Canada, Scotland, and Norway. Once a parasite infects the salmon, it becomes inedible. Previously, salmon were fed a pesticide to defend against the sea lice. This was reportedly effective until 2009, when the lice began to overcome it and spread globally. Fewer salmon, but consistent consumer demand, means higher prices for all things salmon, unfortunately. 